Oh, hello everybody. Today is my birthday and I got myself a game, or rather somebody gave me a game that I wanted. Um, it's a game that I hadn't, that I'd heard about, but I kind of completely missed the fact that it is a deck builder. I thought After the Virus was a board game. And I'm not heavily into zombies, and so I never got it until recently when I saw um, Paul Darcy do a playthrough. And I was like, oh wow, this is actually not what I thought it is. It's a deck builder. And I like deck building games, I like card games, and I like also small games. And of course it has to be a game that you can play on your own. And this one ticks all the boxes. So I asked for it for my birthday, and sometimes you do get what you're asking for. And we will be playing 1B, Crowd of the Dead. Um, being paralyzed by the terrible outbreak, you have stayed in hiding for days. Meanwhile, many zombies have gathered in your neighborhood. You must now break out through the crowds, um, through crowds of the walking dead and find other survivors. We need to end our turn with four survivors saved. And we have five zombies in our draw deck. Or oh, this is how I read the setup. So let's see what we've drawn. We've already got two. Um, zombies that will be attacking us and we've got two survivors hmm. we're gonna play scout we're gonna scout for two cards one and the crowbar okay okay so what we're going to do is we're going to retrieve the crowbar by discarding one survivor going to put it into play sideways because we have to activate it first. It activates at zero. Um, discard one zombie when crowbar is prepared. Discard. And then discard to discard one zombie. And then we have one survivor that we're going to put into play. Um, and then we're going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, oh my god, we've got three zombies. That's not good. Okay. Um. <laughs> we're going to take two hits. There is no other way. So we're going to discard run to place one zombie in our discard pile. Now we might just as well prepare this one survivor and take two hits. One in the leg, one in the arm. And we're going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four. So now we're at wave two. So we put two more cards, two more zombies into our discard pile and sh shuffle it. And draw one more card and hope for the best. Ugh. No zombies. Okay. So. Okay, so let's play this intelligently. We are going to <clears throat> activate two survivors. And discard this card. These two cards. We're going to play safe house. To save these two survivors, which means we're now at two survivors, we need to save four altogether. And we are going to put in play the pistol and we're going to use the run card as ammunition. So now we can shoot on two consecutive turns. Then we're going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And we have one with two zombies. Okay, so first we're going to, to do... We're going to put down the crowbar. We're going to play two cards to activate the weapon skill which means each time you prepare a weapon, kill one zombie. We're gonna prepare the crowbar to kill this zombie. 
We're going to discard one zombie when the crowbar is prepared because that's what the crowbar does. So, and we now have to um, increase the wave to three. So we draw one card because we have no more cards to draw from. Our discard pile is empty. And then we need to put three zombies into our discard pile and shuffle them in. And we have to still get um, four, two more survivors to win. Oh, actually, no. We're going to have to destroy the pistol because we can only have one. Um, no, we're going to destroy the crowbar because we can only hold one weapon. Um, so, okay. So one, two, three, four, five cards. And we have two zombies. And we are going to discard this card to kill one of them. We're going to play two cards to retrieve the dog. We're going to activate the dog and then we're going to discard the dog to kill this zombie and we're going to play this survivor and um, we'll put him into play. Although, of course, we can't do anything with him yet. We've got one, two zombies. We can't run. Um... We're going to play run and we get a shotgun. Um, okay, we'll have to, yeah, this is, this is bad, but there is no other way. No, actually we're going to discard, instead of discarding run, we're gonna discard scout because then we can draw two cards. Sorry, my bad. We don't need another guide. Okay, so we can retrieve shotgun for one. No, but before we do this, we're going to do it this way, because um, order matters. We're going to discard the pistol to kill one zombie. We're going to play run to get the shotgun into play. We're going to give it ammunition, safe house. By preparing it, we're going to, sh we're going to kill this zombie because of our weapon skill. We're now at four. One. One, two, three, four. We have one zombie. Um we're going to put down the dog into play, activate it, discard it to get rid of this zombie. We're going to put down the survivor. We're going to play run once to activate this one and run one more time to activate this one. Now we need to draw one, two, three, four, five cards. There is one zombie in there. Um, We're going to discard this card to kill this zombie. Um, we're going to lay down the pistol. We're going to play Scout to draw two more cards, VIP and Lab. At any time, your, destroy, your destroyed medical equipment may be placed in discard pile counts as three survivors when playing safe house. This card is then destroyed. Yeah, we don't really need that. Um, we're going to play two cards to get the lab. Who knows, it might be a good idea. And we have one, two. We're now at wave five, so we get 
one, two, three, four, five cards into our draw deck. Two zombies, three zombies, oh my word. Um, we're going to destroy, we're going to destroy the shotgun to kill one zombie. Um, yeah, okay, we're dead. Oh no, we're not. We're going to activate the pistol. Oh yes, we are dead. Which is going to kill one. Then we're going to shoot, which is gonna kill one of them, but there's still one left. And we can't run. So there is nothing really we can do because you can only use the pistol or its ammunition once per turn. So now we're going to take a hit to the brain and we're dead. So that is, in a nutshell, the game. It is, um, it is a really, really fun game. I really have to say it's one of the ones where you go, somebody sat down and had a really good idea and decided to make an awesome game with very few components um, because this game comes with um, only... Each, each person, it's, it's, I think it's got enough um, cards so that three people can play at a time. Um, it comes with four um, player avatars. And um, the way it plays is um, you have a deck of zombies. 14 cards and then you've got 10 base cards um, each one has a unique card that is special to them that enters play she's got weapon skill and then you've got um, two four six eight nine and one zombie goes in so we're gonna play the same scenario one more time to see shall we fare any better because I've won it already once so of course this is now the um, demonstration effect um, and it is really quickly learned and it is it comes with 16 missions I believe yeah 16 missions so it's 8 10 16 and it manages to, to have you have fun with a very limited card pool, which I find is totally awesome. So let's see, woohoo, not a single zombie on our first hand, that's really good. So we've got survivors, one, two, three. We're gonna play scout to see minigun and VIP. And we are going to activate one survivor. I'm going to play one, two, three, four, five. Now we have to have, yeah, uh, now we've got three. That's bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're dead. Okay, guys, that was one of the quickest games ever. We're dead. So I hope you enjoyed that really quick game. Let's try this again. Oh my god, three. Yeah, we're dead. Thank 
God setup is done in no time because otherwise this would be dreadful. Let's see if we can do any better. One, two, three, four, five. Four zombies were dead. I'm wondering if it says end the turn with four survivors saved. Start at wave one, start with five zombie cards in each deck. Does this mean maybe in this deck? Because that would make a huge difference. Yeah, probably it means I just put my normal wave one guy in here. And then I put five zombies in there. Yeah, that would make more sense. Yeah. That's probably what they mean. Okay, so we're going to scout one, two, and we're going to um, get the machete, and we're going to activate the weapon skill, and we're going to play one survivor. We have one, and we have one survivor. We're going to activate the machete because it costs us nothing, which kills this zombie. Then we're going to play the pistol and run to activate these two survivors. And then we're going to play the safe house to... save these two survivors and then we're going to add two zombies to the draw deck i'm not sure if this is right though because i could actually keep going like this yeah no i think that you need to put the five zombies into this one we shall do this now so we will just so that's scout survivor run safe house run run survivor there's nothing in there that shouldn't be in there you go back so yeah, we're gonna have to do this again, and I'm pretty sure you're enjoying this marvelously. So let's get these zombies. Just gonna do one more and this is kind of like my motto for this game just one more because it is really great fun to play this game it is actually very 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 well conceived and what i didn't know but i thought you know hang on the name of the company sounds familiar that's the same company that made terraforming mars two three four five let's see what we've got oh god two of them Okay, that's going to be hard. First, we're going to activate our weapon skill. And then we're going to activate our scout. One, two, okay, shotgun. And we're going to take two hits. One, two, three, four, five. Oh God, we're dead. Possibly. Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. No, we're not. We're going to play the pistol and activate it, thus killing one zombie. Then we're going to shoot, thus killing the other zombie. And then we're going to lay down a survivor. Hmm. Well, are we? No, we're actually going to get the shotgun. One, two, three, four. So we're now at wave two, so we have to add two zombies. Oh, we only have one zombie, which is really good. Okay, so. First of all, we're going to destroy, we're going to discard the pistol to kill this zombie. Then, we're going to put down two survivors, and we're going to put two cards no, and we're going to, um, hmm, hmm, no, we're going to activate two zombie, uh, two survivors, one, two, three, four, five, okay, good, that wasn't a bad choice, first of all, we are going to put two cards, as ammunition under the shotgun and activate it, which is going to kill this zombie. We're going to play safe house to rescue these two guys. And then we're going to discard one. No, actually we're going to discard this one. Um, ammo to kill this zombie. Now we're at wave three. We have to put in three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. That's not bad. We can win on this round. One survivor, two survivors, run and run, activates them. Safe house, saves them. We're at four survivors and we've won. So as you can see, it is totally winnable, but you do need to, as of, I would say, even 1B, you need to start strategizing. I really love this game. I can really recommend it. Um, it's not in print any longer but i got this copy off of amazon and it was a new copy too and it's not really expensive either and i can really really recommend it um so if you have if you like deck builders and if you like um the zombie theme i don't really like the zombie theme but i do like this game because i think it's just extremely well done and um, i can really recommend it and i wish you a pleasant rest of the day thanks bye